Hello, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Sister Cousins. Today I am on my way to the grocery store, but I am doing some things differently now. So if you've been watching my channel, you know I did a pantry cleanup recently. I did a refrigerator cleanup, freezer cleanup, and all of these things to get organized and to have a better idea of what I have on hand before I go to the grocery store. Haven't always done that. It's common sense, I know, but that's just not the way that I do things because sometimes I'm already out and I say, oh, let me run in the store and that's how duplicates happen. So now I'm going to make a conscious effort that when I go to the store, before I go, I'll do a wipe down of the refrigerator, go through, make sure if it's anything spoiled in there, hopefully it won't be because I'm not gonna overbuy, but if it is, get rid of that, take inventory, see what it is that I need and only purchase those items and go with a list. Also, this month, uh, February, uh, Denise of This and That with Denise Jordan has challenged us to go through our pantries, our refrigerators or whatever, and use what we have and to reduce our grocery bills. So it's kind of twofold here. I wanna do that, um, use what I have and stay you know, well organized. Also, I'm also on a healthy journey, so I'm making good choices with what I do buy. So a lot of what I buy is fresh produce and things like that. And unfortunately, I don't always get a chance to use it all. It's kind of hard to gauge, you know, how much of that stuff you'll eat, but I'm trying to do better. And um, so let me go ahead and start doing inventory and see what I need so that I can get out of here and get to the store. It's a rainy day, so I just want to get out there and get back in and relax. All right, <clears throat> so it's really not bad because I've been trying to keep it organized, but I know that I'm out of grapes, so I need to pick up grapes. Alexa, add grapes to the grocery list. I still have the tangerines that I had because I've traveled a little bit over the last couple weeks. So I still have a lot left that didn't, hasn't gone bad. I still have blueberries. When I keep them in here, I notice that they last really well. I actually had some of those this morning in my oatmeal, so I know that they're still good. So the only fruit that I'm going to get... Um, oh, Alexa, add bananas to the grocery list. Definitely want to get some bananas. Bananas added to grocery list. Now, I do have some lettuce, but I will get some more lettuce because I know that this is probably not going to last me. Um, and I have enough peppers. I do need cucumbers. I'll add that to the list. Vegetable broth. This is almost finished, so I do need vegetable broth. I will get more of that. That is all. Oh, vegan butter. I'll add that to the list also because I like to use that as opposed to the regular butter uh, because I can't really tell the difference in the taste. So why not save myself from that extra dairy when I don't have to have it? And then in my freezer, let me show you what's here. All right, so this is the freezer. And for once, I know exactly what's in here. I need to prepare these chicken breasts, so that is going to be a meal that will definitely be prepared. I also need to make this piece of salmon, so that will be a meal as well. And then I've got my fruit in here for my smoothie. That's what all this is. I have plenty of frozen vegetables, so I don't need to pick those up. I always freeze sweet potatoes and put them in here in the foil. And so I always keep those on hand because I love sweet potatoes. So I have enough of those and I froze my um, extra peppers and onions. So I have that in here. So I'm good there. The other thing that I know that I need to cook up, look at this. I had two things of shrimp that I discovered when I did my purge. So that is going to definitely have to be a meal that I prepare. Um, so those are the things that I am using this week um, to kind of clear these items out before they get old. Now coming over to the pantry. Again, the pantry is 
in much better shape than it has been. But one of the items that I know that I need to use and I really don't want to, which is why it's been in here as long as it has, is this rigatoni. I need to use this because it's going to expire soon. It's been in here for a while. So I have all those extra shrimp. So I'm going to prepare a meal with shrimp, rigatoni. I'll probably put some um, frozen vegetables or something like that in it. And I'm looking here to see if I have any Alfredo sauce and I do not. I usually just use a little bit of an Alfredo sauce or something like that. I don't like a lot because it's fattening. Um, but I don't have any, so I'll probably pick up a thing of um, that. And what I do is I'll maybe use a spoonful or two out of it and then just leave it in the refrigerator for the next time that I make pasta. Hopefully it hasn't gone bad, but that's kind of what I do because I don't like a lot of sauce and I don't necessarily like the red sauce. So this rigatoni will be used. I have plenty of oatmeal, which is what I eat for breakfast a lot. My rice is running low, but um, I can make it on that because I don't make a lot of rice anymore. And I also have this pack of yellow rice, so I'm good with that. I don't think I need to purchase any unless it's on sale or something like that. My snack items, um, Cheez-Its are here and they definitely need to restock those because I take those for lunch. I've got plenty of breakfast bars here. I've got plenty of popcorn. So those are like my major snacks. Um, graham crackers, I like those as well. And I have some in here. Yeah, I'm good. So those are the things I'm gonna make. So basically the only thing I need to purchase is some Alfredo sauce for this meal with the shrimp. The chicken, I may make some rice with that or something like that, or maybe just do vegetables, which I have plenty of. So I will have a very small grocery list this week if I stick to it. So stick around and see if I stick to my list. All right, so I've made it to the store. I decided to go to Aldi's. My initial thought this morning was that I'd go to Trader Joe's, but then I thought about it and I said, you know what, Trader Joe's is a trigger for me. I always end up getting in there and they have some item. It's like, oh, I wanna try this, I wanna try that, I wanna try this. So I end up buying a lot more than I need to buy. So I need to go to a store where I will stick to my list I am also using cash this month for groceries. That's been another downfall for me. I use my debit card and you go in and you know, you just use your debit card. So I'm using cash this month. So that's gonna keep me on a budget because if I don't have it in my pocket, I can't spend it. And at all these, I'm more likely to stick with my list and not wanna try a bunch of different stuff um, like at Trader Joe's. So let me go in here and get these things on the list.
I'm done in Aldi. I spent $12.24 in cash. However, I'm not done. They didn't have everything I needed. They didn't have the Cheez-Its. They didn't have the um, green leaf lettuce that I wanted. The grapes didn't look good. And they didn't have the vegan butter. So I've got to go to another store, but of what they did have, $12.24 was not bad because I got everything else that I needed. Um, I didn't get the Alfredo sauce either. And I decided when I was there, they didn't have it. And I started thinking, I've got two bottles unopened of pesto. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna get the Alfredo. I'm gonna make that shrimp dish with the pasta with some Alfredo uh, um, pesto. That's what I'm gonna do instead of getting that to try to get through that because I've got duplicates of that unopened. So here I go to the next store to finish off. All right, just came out of grocery store number two, which was Walmart. And there I spent $16.58. So, um, I have everything except the lettuce. They did not have the lettuce that I like, which is the green leaf lettuce, not in the bag. I do not like bag lettuce. Um, I do not want romaine lettuce. I want green leaf lettuce, which they didn't have. So, I may stop at another store, but I may just say forget about it because I have enough lettuce to last me a couple days. So, I may just call it a day because two stores, that's enough. <laughs> Plus I'm getting hungry and there's a risk of me going in this third store when I'm hungry. So, so far it's been pretty good having you all along with me because I have stayed accountable and have stayed to what I have in my pocket. I do still have cash left over. So if I do decide to stop and get the lettuce, I've got the money for it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Let's go home and take these groceries out. All right, so I'm back home, barely beat the rain, but I'm here. And I picked up my vegan cheese, uh, butter that I had to get from the Walmart because Aldi didn't have it. Also at Aldi, I got, I mean Walmart, I got my um, reduced fat cheeses. Now these were not on the list. I got a couple things that weren't on the list, but overall I didn't do bad and they were definitely needed. These are the toppings that I use on my salad. I picked these up at Walmart. This is cranberries and candied pecans. And this one is cranberries and honey roasted almonds. Um, I don't use a lot of these. Um, they're really not that bad calorie wise. One tablespoon is only 40 calories, but I still kind of limit it because it is candied. So, um, but I use a, just about a teaspoon of it on my salad. And I also use it on my oatmeal a lot of the time. So those are really good. They're by the brand Great Value at Walmart. And they're just under $2. I also picked up red grapes and my green globe grapes. That was all I got from Walmart. All right, from Aldi, I got my bananas. I got my cucumber. I got some strawberries because the ones that I had were gone bad. I got my vegetable broth. Now these weren't on the list, but I got them because they were 62 cents a dozen for um, large eggs. So I did pick them up. I do go through eggs because I like to boil them and have them on hand for my salads. That way I can just grab one and cut it over my salad. So I will be doing that. Another thing of uh, vegetable broth and my tomatoes. So that was everything. I spent less than $30 for everything. I did not get the lettuce, but um, I think I mentioned already that I'll just pick that up later. I didn't feel like going in another store. But that's it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to subscribe and stop back by another time and see what I'm doing over here on the Sister Cousin Life Style channel. Bye, guys.